Hello, thank you for joining today. I am going to be going over the F9 drop downs. We'll go over how to add, remove, modify, and some tips and tricks as far as the F9 drop downs go. So, first, if you have not watched the basics of editing video, go ahead and give that a quick watch. It's very short and has some useful tips to it before you start editing. And editing the drop down menus is probably one of the most basic things that you can do as far as editing goes. And we do recommend that offices edit to their own drop downs just because it's nice for you to be able to do that whenever or on the fly. So with that, we'll go ahead and go right into edit mode. So I am in the record section, which reveals the EHR settings and edit medical record templates. It may take a moment for you to go into edit mode. So if you do see Crystal go into not responding, that is normal. There is a lot for the system to render. I have a very small template and a fast computer, so mine goes, it whips right in. Okay, so with that, um, what we're gonna do in order to add in a dropdown is we'll add one into the reason for visit. So that's number 4337. And again, we can click anywhere in here and type in 4337 to jump right to it. So right now there is not a drop down menu for this field. We would be able to see if there was right in this section. There's nothing that you have to do in order to activate it. Um, you can basically just start adding items in. So if we click add here, and maybe one of the reason for visits is going to be an annual exam. Okay, so we basically just created the first dropdown. <laughs> so it's as easy as that. We can keep adding in items. We'll do a glaucoma. Oops, okay, um, so that's a good example of I made a miskey error. So in order to adjust this, I can actually just double click it and then go ahead and adjust. Okay, you don't see it right away, but it is adjusted. All right, so there's that. And let's add in one more for school exam. Okay, so now that we've got our drop down menu created, that's pretty much it. You can go ahead and go to any other, other fields that you wanna add drop downs in. But um, let me show you some of these menus and what they mean here. So that's the very basic level. This is slightly more advanced, but it's still very straightforward. So as you already saw, you can add items here. If we maybe added something in an accident or we just wanted to remove it, we can just go ahead and click on it and remove. We can reorganize the list here to move items up or down as necessary. And then we can also have the system alphabetize our list quickly for us, okay? One thing to point out is that whatever is at the very top of your menu here is going to be considered the normal. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the Shift F8 button and you'll see why in just a moment. But whatever is at the top is the normal. Now, for some fields, you might not actually want a normal value. And so if that is the case, you can basically just add a blank space and go ahead and move that up to the top. Okay, um, so let's do that for that one. Now let's add in something in the primary chief complaint. That's 204. Okay, and we're going to add in blurred vision or maybe blurry vision. And then let's type in injury. Cannot type today. Okay. All right, so we've got those two in. Now, because this field is a multi-line text box, and we can tell that for a couple of reasons. So the first one is the type is a text with two line box, okay? The second indicator is that it has these little arrows on it. You don't see those little arrows on one line text boxes. All right, so what that basically means is that there are multiple rows. So the first time you click the F9, you're going to get this first option. You choose one. Then if you were to press F9 again, you would get your second row of options. So typically for these, uh, you can make them different if you want, but a lot of times they're just gonna be the same. So for that, I'm just going to go ahead and copy one. 
it'll bring it right on down. Okay, so let's go ahead and do a quick save here. And we'll just click the records button at the very top here. You can either type in your test patient or you can choose it from most recent. And yes, we do wanna save our changes. Okay, perfect. Let's go ahead and start this record and take a look at our drop-down menu. Excellent, and the primary chief complaint, excellent. Okay, so now with this Shift F8 button, it works very similar to the All Else Normal buttons. It's just that it's gonna do the entire page. So if you have the Shift F8, if you'd rather use this versus the All Else Normal, just make sure that you start at the top of your page and then you can press Shift F8 and it's gonna put in the normals for you, okay? Now, the reason it didn't do it for reason for visit, of course, is because we have the blank spot that we talked about up at the very top. So, quick overview there, that's great. Uh, let's get into a couple more, uh, a little bit more advanced things and just a little bit of quirks and good things to know regarding the dropdowns. So the first one is going to be, if we put something in here, we put in an annual exam. Um, actually, no, let's do this. Um, let's do like patient called in. But then we also actually want to be able to access the dropdown. Well, we can, and it's here. We can choose an option. There is a setting in the back end when you have something filled in here if when you click the F9 if you don't see your list it's because you have a setting toggled on it's going to be in admin and I'll show you the difference here in just a second okay so it's an admin company we've got the record section here and we are actually going to uncheck this always display F9 full list. So when this is unchecked, it basically uses it as more of like a search. Okay. All right. So now if we were to have, if we have something in the field and we press the F9, um, we are only going to see the annual exam. Okay, we don't see any of the other options. Even though it did it the first time, I think it just had to like register. But um, the only way that you see the full menu available is if you have the field blank and you press F9. If you have something typed in that doesn't match any of your drop down menu options, like um, maybe they have broken glasses. Okay. Now when we press this, um, whoops, I think I glitched it out. <laughs> Broken glasses, okay. Now if we press this, nothing really comes up. All right, um, so that's, it's not too popular to have this work as a search function, um, but just in case you ever come across that, that's how you can toggle this option off or on, and you can play with it a little bit too. I'm gonna check mine again. Okay, so that would be the first one. And then now we're gonna go back into edit mode. Let's go to the exam tab. Okay, so in this case we have OD and OS. So what you can do is you can make your drop down menu for the first one and there is a way to easily copy that whole entire list so that way you can just paste it into the os so you don't have to recreate the wheel so let's go to our field 281 and we are going to add in normal all right and then let's just i'm going to just quickly fill out a little bit of just information to fill the space. Let's say that we've got a very big list of things, okay? We don't wanna have to retype all that, so what we can do is press the copy button right here, okay? Copy it, you don't really see anything happen, but you know you press the button. All right, and then we're gonna to go to 282, which is the OS, and we're going to click paste. 
and there we go. This is especially helpful for tabs like the refraction tab. Maybe you want to duplicate something in the notes section so you can literally go, like if we were to go to like 681, and if we wanted to maybe type in like no notes, we can copy that and then we can go to all of the notes fields and just paste it all in. So copy once and then paste, paste, so on and so forth. Okay, that's super easy. All right, let's go over some of these options. They use defaults for F9s. Uh, Rx or employee and then link to other field is more of like a field so we won't actually get into that um, but uh, use defaults for F9s so the first one that this is going to apply to is going to be the contact lens tab all right so we've got the manufacturer and series and what we can do is we can actually activate this for a field let's actually go to one of these fields 1745 and we can say, you know what, we actually want to have all of the manufacturer fields pull from a list in defaults. So that way, A, we don't have to copy, paste, 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 paste every single time we want to add or delete a manufacturer. We can just have one centralized list that we can quickly update. And I'll show you where that list is at. But what you would do is you would come to the field and you would say, defaults for F9s and put it on the manufacturer. Okay, and it might already be done in your template. It looks like that is the case for this one. Okay, so we'll just basically have to go through and we'll have to just put all of them and point them to the manufacturer and manufacturer. Okay, perfect. Now you'd probably wanna do the same thing for series. So we'll go ahead and do a couple of these series. There we go. Okay, perfect. So that would be it there. Some of the other ones that we have an option for are going to be the material, the notes, and then these ones we don't use a whole lot, but for their, they're for the contact lens, um, number of lenses, disinfection method, replacement and expiration date. We also have the opportunity to use the list from the admin default section for the professional care provider, other referral and primary care provider. These are most likely going to be used in the chief complaint tab where you have like the primary doctor. So we can go up to that one and you could use, let's uncheck this for now. Let's say that we wanted to do like the PCP. Okay, so we can have a pull from a list. Let me show you where these lists are at just so you know where you would update everything. Okay, so admin defaults. And then in here we have the contact RX defaults. So this is the centralized list for the manufacturer, the series, and then for the prescription page default, that's for like the quantity disinfection method and the other ones that we discussed. The provider lists are going to be in patient page defaults, and we have the professional referral, we have the primary care provider, and the other one was other referral. Okay, so you can have it pull from any of those lists. Let's go over the couple other options and then we will wrap it up. Okay, so the field is RX or employees. This is going to come into play mostly in like the refraction tab. So you can actually in like the spear field, you can point it to a system list instead of like making all of the F9s. So 
why this is important and why you might want to do it is because if you don't have this checked and if you just have a regular F9 list, you would actually have to press your F9 dropdown and then select from that list like negative 7.00. What's nice about having it use the system list is that if you type in negative seven, it's going to automatically fill in the 0 0.00, okay? Or in the axis, if you type in three, it's automatically going to match it to 003. So long story short, it's more predictive as far as the text that you're inputting. So you can play around with those. Typically they are turned on. And then the employees and the providers staff or provider staff, these are most likely going to be used in the chief complaint tab where you have a tech field. So you can actually have the system always just draw from your list of staff that pulls from admin employees. And then again, it's at central location. You don't even have to go into edit mode. You just update that list and it pulls from it, okay? And then um, providers would be good if you have, um, you know, like a, a primary doctor. I know we use this for the PCP earlier, but it actually is like the primary doctor in your office. So that's why it was actually providers. And then um, you can do like a combination here as well. So I think, um, I think that is pretty much it as far as the drop downs. I think that we went over everything. One thing that I do want to remind you of is that if you have already started your medical record for your patient or in your test patient, you are not going to see all of your changes that you have made. So what I mean by that is um, we came in here, we made some changes, and then we started the record and we you know, chose some options from the drop downs. But then after we started it, we went back into edit mode and we added some items into the exam. Well, where are they? We don't see them. Well, the reason is because the system, like we discussed in the uh, basics of editing video, it's going to preserve the templates, preserve the exams in the template they were created in. So if we wanna see all of our updated changes, if we've already started the record in the test patient, just go along and delete the medical record. And then once you start a new record for that test patient, you are going to see all of your changes. Okay, and then that goes uh, for all of the patients that you see going forward. So of course, uh, hopefully that is helpful for you. If you do have any questions, feel free to let us know. Thank you.